is a day for us. I mean, all year round for you know 11 months out of the year, we give to you know to the museum and to the children, and we give all that we have and touring and everything. So I think this is a day for us just to sit back and really enjoy the experience for ourselves. So enjoy, and I really wanted to thank Bridget for planning this. You've done a wonderful job, Bridget, and it's going to be a, really a fun, awesome day. And just two words. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thanks to all the volunteers. Everyone who is so generous with their time. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Have fun. I've been a weaver um, all my adult life. Um, I and as I started to teach at Cal State Long Beach and, and take classes, I got my master's degree there. The foam I just got at Joanne's, we had to have a soft structure. Um, we're going to be using these very sharp needles, and we're going to be punching into this sponge. You can use just a regular net, not that pocket that's being passed around. So you see, the more you punch, the harder the surface becomes and the more durable it becomes and the less soft and fuzzy it becomes and that's all there is to it. These um, are very, um, I'll say delicate, so that's why we're also punching into a soft surface. Sometimes I like to just begin. I'll give you your needles. Do you use them as a pair? To get them? I hold them as a pair. Um, I'd say two is faster than one. Um, if you're going to hold it next to yourself, again, just be mindful. You don't have to poke it in very far. You're just really only looking at the very tips of the needles. You want to be comfortable. Stirring a certain place. I like to start on the end. Okay, and then I'll go for it. So yeah. is my body okay there? Yes, it's looking good. Thank, Thank you. you. I, would do, I would do more. More there. Okay. Yeah, it'd be wonderful. You guys knew what I meant. <laughs> I was so surprised and happy how everyone achieved um, their felted pouch within an hour because it took me two hours at home <laughs> to create mine. So this was just absolutely wonderful. I'm self-taught. Now, do you teach? I don't. You don't? No. I just, I just paint. I just paint all day. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, Ron um, saw my paintings in the restaurant and um, asked me to donate a piece for the auction, which I was so excited to do. And 
that's how I came to sort of be here. <laughs> How many pieces do we own of yours? We um, have the one. fish braid? Yes. One so far. <laughs> My style, um, I don't, I want to say it hasn't changed much over the years, but I've gotten a lot better at my style over the years. The subject matter's grown, but it's actually stayed pretty much the same. I loved it. Like it does. Black, um, and the black one. And, um, so you have to tear up the for the paper, light yes. things, I, I just brought my eraser and I'll yeah. erase it. So it's a month to close. I, um, I really work with one thing at a time. How many brushes do you go through? I have I, four brushes are my favorite. And I, I tend to use them until they're dead. Until they're dead. And then I replace them. It's true. And, uh, I do. My brushes last really long. So, like with this turquoise, I love it, but to me it doesn't look as turquoise and bright unless mm -hmm. I put this color. This is mm -hmm. the so Elysian Crimson. Crimson. Mm -hmm. Crimson. Crimson. Not wet. It will stay wet. Whatever's dry next to it will stay dry. <laughs> unless I had something wet next to it, it would bleed it. And then you learned all of this by trial and error, correct? Trial and error. Circles with the lines drawn in, so I know this. Because I might sort of go, oh, this doesn't have a color. I'll, let's see what looks good. And then I'll get down and go, oh, mm -hmm. darn it. This isn't supposed to be. Can you do green? Yes. And you go, oh, darn it. And then what? And then I'll make it work. Uh, you know, I don't yeah. have a lot of darn it moments. Oh, because you're so organized. Few, I'm so, I love to be organized. <laughs> and you notice these are icons. Pathé is uh, like the oldest um, film mm -hmm. company. Uh, they're French. I thought it, this would be so perfect because their logo is a rooster. And in my studio to get the right amount of water on my brush. But now I've got a, a somewhat um, clear color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Can you can really see those pieces. So this is especially that shiny, just right. You oh. can just see all that rainbow. Like a peacock. Oh, exactly. I do a, a ton of these repetitive little tiny pieces. Um, usually, like the, the feet will have a ton of lines. But this is just an idea of the way. Detail is my thing. I just love it. Keep it a little interesting by having it. it and you like it. Uh -huh. Thank you. Do you have any siblings? I have a twin sister. Oh. And she has twin daughters. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're totally self taught. Totally. totally. Uh, kids would always ask questions, and I just said, copy what you like. That is the best way to learn. I really enjoyed Lori Lamont's uh, demonstration today. She is such a methodical painter, and it was just inspiring to see her work, talk with us about her techniques, and it's just really an amazing thing that she's self-taught. Actually, I think that's what makes her work probably even more compelling, is the fact that it seems to be a very intuitive process with her. So it was, it was just a thrill to see her work today. I'm enjoying Lori and opening my horizons as far as the watercolor. I've been very afraid of it, but having her show some of the techniques is very interesting. What meant the most to me was seeing how she actually used the brush and the water. Um, she had all of these wonderful drawings, but the fact that you could see what she did when the brush touched the paper and how the water affected it, it was it made all the difference. You can look at all the watercolors in the world and not know how they did it. And then you watch and see her magic. Oh, Lori Lamont is wonderful. Being able to ask her questions about her talents and when she started and her techniques. Well, I enjoyed everything about her demonstration. Uh, I thought it was fascinating to see the size of the piece and her technique, which is unbelievable, the way she fixed any tiny mistake, the way she talked about her history. I thought it was very compelling, and I'm so thrilled to hear that she'll be downstairs with that big mural 
right here at the Long Beach Museum of Art. She is absolutely amazing and um, her colors and her formula and everything is just exquisite. I do take photos and then I, um, I'm constantly in magazines, tearing, and, um, oh, good. I love you. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, 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 it's horrible. Oh, like, good photography. Oh, I don't like that. And then the doctor's office. And then you go, uh, and then. I know. You the doctor's office. So you can rip those little pieces. That's me. That's me. That's me. Can we take that take art again? Supplies, cartoons. <laughs> it's all at one time. Lori, will you say that again? Everybody go all oh, again, like when she goes. <laughs> she goes. I, oh, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna ask you. Do you have any siblings? I have a twin sister. Oh. oh. And she has twin daughters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you can brother. We're very good director, and we're very good actors, aren't we? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's so amazing.